and we are glad you're with us on this Memorial Day. I'm Lynn Brooks. We start tonight in Tuscaloosa, where those who fought and continue to fight for our freedom were remembered and recognized. Each year on Memorial Day, a ceremony is held at Veterans Memorial Park in front of University Mall on McFarland Boulevard. This draws hundreds of people from all around West Alabama. The program featured patriotic music as well as keynote speaker Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan L. Good from the U.S. Army, who's also professor of military science at the University of Alabama. Veterans there say it's meaningful to see civilians come out and remember those who have given their lives for our country. Tuscaloosa resident Lily Loggins remembers her brother who she lost in Vietnam. He had just graduated from Druid High School and uh, just uh, beginning to start his life. And that was, he was a good, good guy. And of all my siblings, we was the best of friends. And that program lasted about an hour. Meanwhile, the local Veterans of Foreign Wars post did not hold its annual fish fry fundraiser this year, but that doesn't mean there wasn't plenty of visiting and good food to go around. Post 6022 hosted a membership drive cookout at its Cottondale location today. Chaplain Walter Turner told us they wanted the day to be less hectic and more about the veterans. Another primary purpose of today's event was to bring in younger vets and their families. Well, of course, we're doing the normal social media things through Facebook where we're inviting, uh, you know, veterans, especially on campus, getting the word out here that we have this great post, this great facility, and uh, that it's a time for, uh, it's an opportunity for them to come and, and uh, share that bond that they have if they fought wars. A lot of people come back, you know, with some great memories and not some good memories. So we're there to help them, to support them, but also to kind of celebrate what we've done together and have a good time as well. And if you're a veteran of foreign war and would like to become involved with Post 6022, you can give them a call. It's 205-553-8040. You can also email VFWPost6022 at yahoo.com. Fallen soldiers made a stop in Tuscaloosa on their way to a final resting place last week. WVOA 23's Chelsea Barton is live in our studio with that story. Chelsea? Yeah, Lynn, the run for the wall came through Tuscaloosa, stopping at the Tuscaloosa VA Medical Center on Wednesday. Each member of that ride has their own story, one with the special duty of carrying fallen soldiers to their final resting places. Members of Alaska Airlines assume remains of soldiers as they are loaded off the aircraft when returning home. From there, the soldiers are placed in what's called the fallen soldier cart to receive an honorable ride to their final resting places. I don't know if anybody's aware, but like I was saying earlier, sometimes when a soldier comes back, there's nobody there, except for the soldier that accompanies the body till its final resting place. Well, we're there for the soldier, and we're there for that soldier that accompanies that soldier. We provide a place for them to rest, food to eat, internet access, phone access, anything that they need until that goes to its final resting place. The Fallen Soldier program also provides an office, hot meals and other necessities during the trip to help lessen the stress of those accompanying the fallen hero. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.